We had two very exciting trials about uh, the protection against cardiotoxicity in patients who have received chemotherapy at the late-breaking trial session today. And I'd like to describe those for you. The first trial, the CC trial from Brazil, was a very, very difficult trial to do. Uh, it took seven years uh, to randomize 200 patients uh, to receive carvedilol versus placebo to see if we could reduce the decrease in left ventricular ejection fraction by less than 10% um, as the primary endpoint, and also looked at troponin levels and other measures in patients who have received chemotherapy for breast cancer. And so a standard regimen of anthracycline followed by um, additional chemotherapy. And this was sort of the um, early look at the follow-up data of that information at the six-month point. And the findings were that carvedilol didn't really protect against the early uh, six-month reduction in EF. It was the same in both groups. But there was a significant reduction, about a 40% reduction in troponin I, which is a marker of myocardial injury. So maybe it was too short follow-up time, maybe the echo can't detect it like an MRI, but this was very encouraging. And we also saw improvements in diastolic dysfunction and, and chamber size, volume, diameters. So I think the first trial, the CC trial, provides very encouraging information to suggest that carvedilol will be an effective uh, cardioprotective drug uh, in patients receiving chemotherapy. The second trial was a larger study done by Mary Guglin in, at Florida uh, and other sites, and she looked at both the ACE inhibitor lisinopril versus carvedilol versus placebo, so two different classes of drugs. And what she was able to uh, uh, show is that in patients who receive combination chemotherapy with anthracycline and trazuzumab, that there was a prevention of cardiotoxicity, both with the lisinopril and the carvedilol. And so this is very exciting information. It's still early. We're looking at the results. The results aren't published. But as we move into an era where survivorship in cancer patients is determined by their cardiovascular status now, not the recurrence of cancer, this is a very important field. And I think these two trials are finally getting to the sample size and to the rigor where we can begin to think about changing practice.